Here is a problem that was posted many years back on Mensa Mumbai's WhatsApp group for puzzles. And the problem went something like this. We have been given a rectangular wooden plank like this of dimensions 18 by 32. And we have to split this plank into two pieces with a single continuous cut so that the two pieces can then be joined to form a 24 by 24 square shown here. If you want to go ahead and uh, try this for yourself, you can pause the video here. Otherwise, we can proceed to the solution. Okay, so let's solve this now. But even before we proceed with the solution, let's first check if it is possible in the first place. And for that, we are going to check the areas of these two planks, uh, the plank that we start with and the plank that we want to end up with. And these two areas has to be equal. Otherwise, the problem is not even solvable. So 18 multiplied by 32 gives us 576. And here it is 24 by 24, the end result. So 24 into 24, that is also 576. So well, the problem is solvable. So let us start with a blank rectangle, 32 by 18, and we'll split it into two parts. Uh, this is a very simple first attempt. It may or may not be right. And just to distinguish, we'll make these parts green and blue. And let us now move this piece over here. Obviously, the resulting plank is not a square, but uh, at least let us take stock of what happened here. So the increase in height here is 18. Instead, we wanted the height to increase by just 6, which is one third of 18, the original height. Similarly, the decrease in width should have been 8, which is one fourth of the original width. And that gives us an idea that we need to divide this width in four parts and the height in three parts. And therefore, the path of cutting should be some kind of a zigzag that gives us those fractions. Okay, so we are back to the drawing board with our original 32 by 18 rectangle. And we are going to draw a zigzag path here, like this. Right now, we are not worrying too much about the lengths or dimensions. We are just going to get the shape right. So you can see this height is now divided into one, two, and three parts or three steps. And the width is divided into one, two, three, and four parts. Uh, let's color these parts like before, blue and green. Let us zoom into this area so we can work out uh, these dimensions in detail. Let us call this width here, say, x1, and these other widths you can call as x2, x3, and x4. Similarly, we can call this height as y1, y2, and y3. Let us copy these dimensions to the lower part here and copy these vertical dimensions to the upper part. And let us now move this part in its intended place. Say something like this. Of course, this is all approximate. We are just getting the judgment. So now you'll see uh, these two uh, dimensions, x1 and x2, should have been equal. So x1 should have been equal to x2. This tells us that x2 should have been equal to x3, and x3 should have been equal to x4. In other words, all our horizontal dimensions, x1, x2, x3, and x4, should have been equal. Something similar we are getting here too. This y1 and y2 should match and y2 should match y3. So all the vertical dimensions or steps should have been equal. So this gives us the dimensions of this zigzag path. The vertical should have been exactly one third and the horizontal should have been exactly one fourth of the original dimension. So we have the solution now. It only remains to be plotted. So we start with again the blank rectangle, 18 by 32. Divide the width into four parts, eight each, and the height into three parts, six each over here. And then we draw our zigzag path that is uh, going to cut it into two pieces. So let's see that path itself. And this path gives us uh, two parts, the blue part over here and the green part here. Finally, all that remains is moving this part and uh, putting it in its place and just checking the dimensions. The height of the final assembly is 24 as required and the width is also 24. So we got our square. Now you can treat this puzzle as a kind of warm-up because there was another puzzle that was recently posted on the same group but uh, which was much more difficult. 
But having solved this one, you can get the basic methodology of solving these. And uh, then you can attempt the next one, uh, which is going to be a little more difficult.